The Indian Army is all set to procure 300 tactical load haulers that must be capable of operating in desert mountains, snow dirt tracks and uneven surfaces. The four-wheeled tactical load haulers should not weigh more than 42 kilograms and should be battery or hybrid engine powered and must have a minimum load carrying capability of 80 kilograms in plains and 60 kilograms in high altitude area. It must have a minimum performance range of 20 km or an endurance of 8 hours. The speed of the equipment should be controllable and it should have a suitable braking system. The service life of the equipment along with the battery should be minimum 5 years. The Japanese government has proposed to jointly develop unmanned aerial vehicles with India that can be used for the surveillance of the Indian Ocean region and the South China Sea, and soon discussions will take place on what kind of unmanned aerial vehicle Japan wants to develop with India. India is interested in Japan's Taigei-class submarines, and Japan is also keen to offer many of its maritime platforms to India, to improve security cooperation between the two countries amid the rising Chinese aggression in the region. The Indian Ministry of Defence will issue a request for proposal for the procurement of 100 more K-9 Vajra howitzers to Larsen and Tubro in early 2023, after which the cost negotiations will be carried out. The second lot of 100 K-9 Vajra will be customised for better operations in higher altitudes, for which it will come with winterization kits of 9 items, like specialised oil lubricants heating systems and small changes to the gun's fire and control system. The third lot of 100 K-9 Vajra will be ordered by 2025. Larsen and Tubro has announced that the company is developing large drones that will have an endurance of 72 hours. l and t is also developing an advanced version of its existing rotary wing vertical takeoff and landing UAV that will have an improved range of 140 km and endurance of 6 hours, and it will be ready by 2024. Armored Vehicles Negum Limited has started testing a hybrid main battle tank that is based on the T-72 chassis, but has the turret and weapon system of the T-90. It is believed that given the vulnerability of Russian T-72 tanks in Ukraine, such decisions to upgrade might have been taken. With the increasing use of anti-tank weapons, Russia is also taking a set of measures to upgrade its T-72 tanks with additional armor, as well as improved maneuverability increased firepower and level of security. Armored Vehicle Negum Limited has reactivated the production line of the Arjun Mark 1A main battle tank, and as per latest media reports, the first batch of Arjun Mark 1A tanks will be delivered to the Indian Army from March 2024 onwards, and the total 118 tanks will be delivered by March 2026. Garden Reach shipbuilders will hold key laying of two anti-submarine warfare shallow watercraft on 31st December, as part of 16 such vessels that are being built by Garden Reach shipbuilders and Cochin Shipyard for the Indian Navy, that will undertake anti-submarine warfare duties, subsurface surveillance, mine laying operations, defense against intruding aircraft, and search and rescue.